Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 34 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, Facebook marketplace, and on YouTube auctions. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These items all sold for $35 or less. That is what I call my bread and butter. Things that are easier to find, things that I can source really cheap and flip for a nice profit. All right, we are going to get started. If you're new here, my name is Courtney. And I talk about all things bolos. I have so many different types of bolo videos. This is my bread and butter series. So basically a what sold. And then I also have big money bolos. I also have category videos. I feature other people's bolos. So if you want to learn about items to look for, definitely check out my other videos. All right, you guys. So this guy is a Jim Shore. I always pick up Jim Short. It's a great brand. This one actually came out of a Christmas mystery box from a thrift store and I broke it. I actually chipped it when I was uh, getting ready to list it. So I hot glue gunned it and I did a horrible job. You can see it right here, but I just disclosed it and it still sold and it sold for full asking price. You guys of $35 plus shipping and tax. The buyer was all in for $41 and 25 cents for this little guy. And he's not very big. He's only about five inches there. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price Loving Family doll. She is a harder to find doll. Um, super, super cute. Her paint is in really good condition. Um, so overall, she looks pretty good. I ended up selling her for $30 and the buyer was all in for $38.31. And I got her at a, um, a, a bulk lot at a garage sale. This is a 31's little carry-all caddy. It's a pumpkin. And I got this out of a thrift store mystery box. It was a Halloween box. I sold this for $15 and the buyer was all in for $23.84. The next item I sold is this Disney Pixar Cars um, vehicle. I'm pretty sure I got this at either a garage store, excuse me, I'm sorry, garage sale or a thrift store. And this has been sitting and sitting and sitting. I had no idea it was a bolo. This thing sold so quick. So you see right here, it's got um, where the plastic is kind of stressed. And then down on its nose, it's supposed to have a ring. So the item is damaged. Now, I will tell you, even if you get this item and it's damaged, if it has this plastic bin, you could sell that plastic bin for good money, you guys. So definitely be on the lookout. When I first found this, I couldn't find the plastic bin. And I was like, oh, shucks, I'm missing the bin. And then I found it. And I was super, super excited because um, I couldn't remember. It's just been sitting uh, if it came with it or not. So um, I don't know if you guys can relate, but I have a mountain, a money mountain of inventory that I need to list. Um, I buy in bulk all the time. So things sit. And then I've been working on my money pile for the last almost three months. I've been trying not to source and just work from my money pile. So this sold in, I believe, less than seven days for $35. The buyer was all in for $44.25. And it's Frank, the combined harvester from 2015. And he's just a harder to find item. The next item is this Avon mouse pin. It's a fragrance great glaze from 1971 with the original box. Um, I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. I ended up taking a best offer of $12 and 50 cents on this. The buyer was all in for 1903. The next item are these MCM bendable felt mouse ornaments. So three mice here made in Japan. I love selling made in Japan. Got these at a garage sale for 25 cents, sold them for $17 and 50 cents. And the buyer was all in for 24.37. The next item I sold is this vintage themed Dream Pets fish and chips cat. I can't remember where I got it. I do apologize. But I did take an offer of $12 and I sold it for $18.64 and it sold pretty quick. The next item, um, I picked up a bunch of Cabbage Patch stuff at an estate sale. I do have a video over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. It's an unboxing of everything I got. But this tag was in there and I'm like, I wonder if I can sell this tag. And I knew it was going to be major bread and butter, but I just wanted to see if I could do it and how long it would take. And you guys, it sold pretty quick. I sold this for a best offer of $4 and the buyer was all in for $9.23. And there's the back of the tag. So it's from 1984. 
So would you have just tossed it or would you have listed it? Let me know in the comments. The next item is this pin. My husband picked up a big lot of jewelry from an estate sale and I just kind of like was grabbing some stuff off the top and I'm like, let me list some of this for you, make your money back and then you can take your time going through the rest. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of $12 on this. The buyer was all in for $18.46. It was signed KC um, right here on the back. And it's more of uh, the theme of it. It's like Thanksgiving pumpkin brooch that I thought would sell it. And it sold pretty quick, guys. The next item is this trunky backpack. This came in a mystery box. I had no idea what it was. Um, it's a little backpack. And I ended up taking a best offer of $16 on this. The buyer was all in for $23.87. Okay, you guys, the brown drip. Um, if you have been watching my channel for a long, long time, you remember the brown drip story. So I went to a garage sale and I bought an entire table of brown drip. Some of it was marked Hull, H-U-L-L. -L, and... I know that some pottery that is marked that way could do well. So I kind of got excited. This is early on when I first started doing hard goods and I was trying to dabble in breakables, which is not a good idea for me. Um, but I bought the whole table of brown drip. So those of you that know glass and pottery, this is a major bread and butter. And I hate, absolutely hate shipping breakables. So this was a bad buy for me. Um, have I made a lot of money? Yeah, I've done pretty well. Do I've sold most of it. Um, I did a video yesterday or I don't know, but it had a brown drip piece in it and it was like, uh, it looked kind of like an ashtray or something, but it sold for like $75. So it's not all created equal. You know, you do have to still look up the pieces, but I ended up selling this for six, I'm sorry, $20 and 99 cents. And the buyer was all in for 37 55. So can you still, still sell it? Yes. But you guys, this was a very long tail item. But I thought I had a treasure. So it's kind of funny to look back at now. Um, I got this brooch at a garage sale for 50 cents. It's a Sarah Coventry, a letter M, monogram, initial. Those are good words. Um, it kind of has that bamboo look to it. Here is where it's marked. I sold this for $10. The buyer was all in for $16.45. The next item is this vintage peacock pocket hand warmer. Okay, you guys. Um, this has been a while ago, but if you missed this video, you have got to go watch it. It is the funniest video ever. And of course it's not me, it's my husband. So he was messaging me and I, or actually, I think I talked to him and he's like, I picked up some boxes of stuff on the side of the road, some free stuff. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, will you do a video fully expecting him to be like, no, I'm not doing a video. And he said, yes. So he did a video unboxing this stuff. And it is, in my opinion, hilarious. Um, I had so many people that uh, thought it was hilarious also, but you, you have to get his sense of humor. You know what I mean? Um, there were other people that thought he was too rough with the product. Um, a lot of it's breakables, you guys, but it's a hoot. It's over on my resource. Um, I'm sorry, sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And you got to go watch it. But this is one of the items that was in it. I don't think I listed anything else from it. I do think there's potential. It's sitting in the garage, but I have my own stuff to list. So um, eventually, maybe he'll list some of it. So if you go watch the video and you see something you're interested in, shoot me a message um, because I think it's all still sitting in the garage. Well, at least the stuff we kept. But this hand warmer was in there. I'm like, it's little. I can ship it easily. Um, ended up taking, uh, sold for $18 on best offer. And the buyer was all in for $27.03. Cost of goods, nothing. Now, if you can find these in good condition, they go for a lot more. This one was just kind of, it was okay. You know, it wasn't great. So I sold it cheaper. The next item, if you can find these matchbox matchbox music boxes you guys these are a bolo they are by mr christmas it actually spins around it is so adorable um i ended up selling this for 30 dollars. the buyer was all in for 38.25 and i got this out of a thrift store mystery box this wild republic huggers it's a tree frog and it has like a slap bracelet it's super super cute it like hugs your arm and i got this in a mystery box also a mystery toy box from a thrift store Sold it for 14. The buyer was all in for 21.29. 
This came from a Dibble box, uh, which is a reseller box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino. Um, it was a hundred dollar box, I do believe. The unboxing is on my channel. There were some really great items in there. I think that's where I got the Barbie outfit that I think I sold for like 50 or 60 bucks. I think that was in there. But um, this piece did take a little bit longer to sell. It's more of a um, long tail item where you have to wait on the right buyer. I did end up taking a best offer of $10 for this and the buyer was all in for $18.85. If you'd like to see what else I got in that box, go check it out. I show you how I listed everything and what I expect to make from the box. This one is a vintage Mattel Disney crib activity music box. I think I got this at an estate sale. I bought this so early on and I was so excited when I found this. I'm like, I found a bolo and I just thought it was going to be like worth so much money. You guys, it took forever to sell and I ended up selling it for $24. The buyer was all in for $37.14. I don't know if my keywords were bad. I did not have a video in um, the description originally. The person messaged me and asked me, if the item worked. And I was like, well, it did when I listed it like three years ago. So I decided to add a video to the description. Um, would it have sold sooner if I had that video in the description? I don't know, maybe, but um, yeah. So I don't know. I thought it was going to be like a home run and it, it wasn't. It took forever to sell. These I got at a garage sale, I'm sorry, a thrift store in a little lot of items. Um, I parted it out, but these two patches, I was able to Google lens it and figure out what the patch meant. So I put that in the title and I ended up selling this for a best offer of nine and the buyer was all in for $14.83. Another Avon fragrance glaze pin from 1974. This one's a turtle. It sold for $14. The buyer was all in for $20.14. This scent portable, um, I got these out of a mystery box. Um, I also got the little, uh, there are different clips, shapes that these fit into. And those have been selling so good. So if you ever see these scent portable clips, definitely pick them up. They're a great bread and butter. Don't overpay. You're not going to make a ton of money on them. But if you can get them for like a quarter or 50 cents, they have sold so fast. I think they're discontinued. This one sold on auction for $9.99 plus shipping. The next is this Halo Mega Block set. I don't know if it was complete or incomplete. I don't even know what set it was. So there's a lot of question marks in the title. Um, I ended up selling this for a best offer of 30. The buyer was all in for 42.43 and I got this in a mystery box from a thrift store. This one is, uh, this is funny. The name of the book is Three Little Kittens and I put Three Little Pigs. So uh, uh, I messaged the buyer and I'm like, I just want you to know that this is three little kittens and not three little pigs. They're like, I know. So I felt kind of silly, but it did have a little bit of damage right here. So I sold this one cheaper than I've sold the other ones. Um, I usually sell these between 30 and $35. They go to the talking mother goose. Um, I had about four bucks in this and I sold it for a best offer of 20 and the buyer was all in for 29.10. And again, I sold it for less because it was damaged. The next item I sold is this My Precious Pets Ponies from 1997 by Jasmine. It's a collectible. Um, it's older from, I'm sorry, no, it says collectibles. So I don't know. They're just plastic toys. But this sold quick. I got it at a garage sale for a buck and it sold for $31.50. The buyer was all in for $39.15. The next item is this Calico Critters Britney Bunny Ballet Recital set with three dresses and a mirror. And I did Google lens on this and found her. She is a harder to find item. So I did price her up a little. Uh, she ended up selling for $23 on best offer. The buyer was all in for $30 and 53 cents. And I got her at a garage sale for 50 cents. Um, be careful because Calico Critters, um, there's vintage ones and they do great. There's also Woodsies, which is the Target brand. They are bigger, the Woodsies, and they do look different. But go into solds and study the difference between the two so that you know what to look for when you're outsourcing. I do pick both of them up, but the Calico Critters tend to do, to do better. And they're kind of flocked. All right, this Disneyland holiday antenna topper. Got this at a garage sale for $1, sold it for $28. The buyer was all in for $37.77. The next item I sold is this baby doll diaper. <laughs> it's a vintage 
And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents, new old stock, and I sold it for $18. The buyer was all in for $23.80. The next item is this Fallen Flag Replicas Chevy truck. And it's just a little die cast truck. And I got this from Auctions for You in a mystery toy box. It was a $100 box. I do have the unboxing on my channel. And I sold this for $12. The buyer was all in for $20.61. The next item is this vintage 1987 Santa's World, the Wizard of Oz Tin Man ornament. I saw this and I'm like totally getting it. Uh, got it at a thrift store for two bucks, sold it for 25 and the buyer was all in for $30.80. This little dollhouse rocking chair, if I remember correctly, it came out of a um, lot that I got in an estate sale, a huge lot of dollhouse stuff. I sold this for... $7.20 and the buyer was all in for $13.30. The next item I sold is this vintage Fisher Price Sesame Street Little People Ernie. It's from the Muppets. You guys, he's got condition issues. This came out of a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. Most of you probably would have donated this or chucked it in the trash um, because it's got the condition issues. And I knew that I could sell it. And it actually sold pretty quick. I did take a best offer of $8 and the buyer was all in for $13.15. The next item I sold is this Vampirina car. It's got lights and sounds. I got this at a garage sale for $1, sold it for $15. The buyer was all in for $27.92. So stuff like this, um, if you guys, uh, the shoe boxes, the USPS priority mail shoe boxes that you can get free off of the USPS website and in the store, um, these are great for the longer toys. I know that most people ship shoes in them, but I really like that size for stuff like this. Just a little tip. Barlow earrings. These came out of my bulk buy jewelry lot. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I bought 344 pounds of jewelry. I sold these for $12. The buyer was all in for $16.65. This little Moana Adventure Canoe set, it's a play set and this sold super fast. This also came out of a thrift store mystery box. I sold it for 20 bucks and the buyer was all in for $29.06. This Jim Shore Angel, um, I pulled it out of the box. This was an item that has been sitting in my garage forever and the wings were missing. I found the wings, I hot glued them in and I just disclosed that. And this sold really quick for $21.60. And the buyer was all in for $34.56. I probably would have priced this higher if um, it did not have the repair. So Jim Shore, again, is a great brand. Um, I was talking about my bulk buy of jewelry, the 344 pounds. I took a long break. Um, I haven't been going through it for probably over a year. Uh, but I had a whole series on this channel if you want to go back and watch those. Some of the boxes that had gemstones in them, I invited Moonstone Mamas to come on with me. And if you don't watch her on YouTube, definitely check her out. She's amazing, super knowledgeable. But she helped me identify jewelry, uh, the gemstones. So that video, those videos, I think there's probably five or six of them are super educational. Now, I started going through the stuff again the other day. I found this really cool piece. So in my videos that I'm doing today, I'm wearing a piece of jewelry that I'm going to list in my eBay store. So this is the one that I picked. I do have it um, doubled up here. It's actually really, really long. I'll show it to you guys if I can get it off here. Um, but go over to my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel and my reseller testing Bolo products channel and turn on the bell because those are the channels I'm going to do the live listings on where I um, show the jewelry. So it's some sort of... Um, I don't know if they're glass beads, but look, they're really cool. But I don't know how to list it. I don't know how much to list it for. But um, this is a piece that I showed in one of my unboxings the other day. So come hang out with me during the live shows. I also do working hangouts where I list live. So uh, be sure to check out the description of the video. I've got a bunch of links down there, um, th resources that I use to help me in my business. Um, great stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments. Happy to answer. Thank you for being here. Check out another video. They're going to pop up here and down below. I'll also link some stuff in the comments. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And leave me an emoji of an owl in the comments. Thanks for watching.